Hi there, my name's Colin and welcome to Let's Paint Watercolours with me. So, let's get started on this painting. Hello again and uh, welcome to Let's Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. I've already drawn the picture out. I wouldn't normally draw the background trees in, I would just put them in uh, without any drawing on. I've just done this to show you basically what the picture will look like and if you feel like drawing these in be my guest so let's get started this is straightforward nickel yellow i'm going to bring it straight down in a diagonal line all the way across <clears throat> through the trees through the field and then into that Cobalt blue and cadmium red. This is just to act as a barrier. Because, of course, when you mix yellow with a purpley colour, you'll get a greying down effect. And we might even put some in here just to unify it a little bit. And it's the land area we can drop some raw sienna. We're just getting colour on at the moment, we're not really uh, looking for any detail. Bring it into the bushes, maybe just a touch in here. And what I want to do now is actually lift out some paints. Just forming cloud shapes at the moment. top part of the sky we can drop some cobalt blue start from the corner see how strong it is just a touch of water corners there just let it merge with some of the sky colors going to allow that to dry. Paper's gone dry, it's a little bit damp which is what I want and just in this field here to brighten it I'm just going to streak across some gamboge. I wet it and then I'm going to dry it off on a rag to make it damp so there's no extra water and we're just going to gently soften in the edges Now we've got that in, we can start with the background trees and I'm using a natural sponge. This is a mixture of cobalt blue, aurelian or areolin, and a touch, just a touch of red, just to dull it down to grey it. Back ones here. We're just going to soften these out into nothing so they look further back. It's the same damp brush. Allow that to dry. Now it's dried off. This is a stronger mix of the cobalt blue, the riolin, and cadmium red. And we're just going to darken just a few of these bushes. And this is a mixture of burnt umber and cobalt blue. We'll just put a few tree trunks in. Brush, and we're just going to flick in some sticks and twigs. And I'm just using a damp brush. And what I actually want to do is just merge some of this colour, bring it into the field for a shadow. We have that done, we can come forward. Now we come into the foreground bushes and we're going to set off some raw sienna and we'll build these up in stages. Most of this will not show but it just adds to fill 
the bushes in. We're going to allow that to dry. It comes to the foreground bushes now that it's dried, and this is a mix of cobalt blue, oh, sorry, Prussian blue, oh, aurelian, with a touch of red in. Once that is dry, you can move on to the stronger tone of a Prussian blue, aurelian, and a touch of red again, but this is a stronger, darker mix. Really doesn't take your eye out. I'll just do a few. Okay, now that all this is dry, <coughs> we're going to put some darker tones in at the bottom where the shadows would be. This is just straightforward burnt sienna. I'm trying to use a gentle touch. I'm actually going to put some strong dark right on the bottom. Okay, put the darks in. You can see the difference between the really dark tone of the burnt sienna and Prussian blue and just a straightforward burnt sienna underneath and we're just going to pull some little sticks and twigs out just to add some real interest to these bushes I will alternate these between the, the dark colour, the dark mix of a burnt sienna and Prussian blue and the simple colour of um, burnt sienna as you can see I've basically got my heads all finished and I'm just softening off the edges with a damp brush okay I've re-wet the um, foreground all the way up to where the bushes start at the bottom and into that I'm actually going to just run through some indigo areolin and with a spot of red in just to take the hue down a bit and we're just just going to streak some in and uh, we'll be putting some darker green same mixture just darker what's the trees because this is a darker mix underneath the trees for shadow this is a lovely green try to leave some of the light green showing damp brush I'm just going to lift a little out Soften the edges with a damp brush, bringing it into the path. Have that. I'll just take the masking fluid off the trees. This is where we're going to put the uh, foliage. This is the darker mix of indigo and areolin. And there's no light red with this. Sorry, there's no cadmium red with this. and then we'll do the trunks right the whole painting is bone dry now as you can see it's crinkled up this is what happens when you use a hairdryer <clears throat> but I'm going to show you how to re-wet your paper your board must be absolutely clean and dry no paint on it turn your picture over see this and with some clean water start in the middle just put that away and push it it doesn't matter if your paper starts to crinkle backwards you do not panic take it up to the edge you see how the paper's settling back down I'm going to allow that to soak through and once that has soaked through we turn it over I put a couple of heavy books on it come back in five minutes and it should be perfectly flat for you once you've re-wet the paper and flattened it with a couple of books we'll put the trees in and you can see how flat the paper's gone I will just do a little of one and uh, carry on after the camera's off and just showing you how to do it just very gently this is a dark mix of indigo and burnt umber 
you can turn your board around for this but I'm just showing you to bring up some branches on your trees that support the foliage okay all the trees are finished all I've done with the rest of this is when the massing tapes come off I've just where the fence posts are I've just put um, raw sienna all the way up a little darker at the bottom with some burnt sienna I put some nickel yellow in here because it's in the sky and also I brought up some grasses a lighter patch just to break up the green and we're going to now attach these two to the ground like I have done with those two so this is the grass colour the strong grass uh, colour that we uh, made earlier and we're just going to do that this is dead easy water and a damp brush just soften the edges off it also adds a little bit of texture to the grass this is a dry brush technique soften off the edges it also helps to give you the lay of the land the brush we'll put some pebbles in in a minute stronger soften the edges off into the grass take a palette knife once the shine has gone off the paper and just scrape in some pebbles Now we'll put a shadow side down the fence. Leaving some areas white, it just adds more interest. Here's to scratching some fence wire, sign it, put a board around it, and frame it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Um, please click the like button if you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe thank you very much for watching this is a finished painting i have signed it and i've just scratched in the barbed wire and i've given this gentleman a stick and he's having a walk in the country